The wait has been long and hard, but Gears of War 2 is almost upon us, and it's going to hit with a bang. Picking up the story of Marcus and his dedicated squad mates, Gears 2 will bring a more character-based story than the first game. New soldiers, story arcs, and much more will be added to the overall mythology of the Gears universe. That's not to say that the action is any less intense. The tried and true Gears cover system is back, and the environments are much more interactive and dynamic this time around. The formula has been tweaked and refined. Marcus can even overturn certain objects to create his own cover, and brutal finishers should appease those sick masochists out there. Yeah, you know who you are. And you'll need those newfangled tricks because the creepy crawlies are now even nastier. Tickers are suicidal bugs with explosive tempers who find happiness by running after you like a chicken and then blowing up, which usually doesn't happen when a chicken runs at you. The Reavers from the first game are also back, but are given a lot more to do. Whereas they were mainly regulated to the background in Gears of War 1, they are much more up close and personal in Gears 2. Instead of just flying around in circles as a vague threat, they will actually land now and spew bullets and missiles at you. Thankfully, your arsenal is as lethal as ever, but there is also another element of depth to the cover system now. Yes, you can bludgeon some fool in the head if you want, but you can also pick up enemies when they're down and use them as an affectionately named meat shield. The meat shield works pretty much exactly as you think a meat shield would. Or if you're a traditionalist, you can just go back to the time-honored chainsaw. This time around, the epic chainsaw duels are more than elements of chance, as you'll now have to furiously mash the B button if someone tries to chainsaw you as you're trying to do the same to them. Speaking of time-honored, you can also finally fight the previously PC-only enemy, the Brumac. This dude is as mean as you thought he would be in the first game. You know, before that cutscene faded and you were left going, what the hell? And you need the big guns to bring him down. The mortar comes in handy and is more than willing to help out by raining down fire upon your foes. Overall, Gears 2 is even more frantic and dynamic than Gears 1. All the elements are familiar, but they have been kicked up a notch. You can finally live those fantasies of being a Reaver and Brumac pilot. These sequences are almost reminiscent of Panzer Dragoon. You'll be diving and juking on your trusty squid-looking creature in the hope that you either won't get shot or eaten. Good luck with that. Now this is just a quick little taste of what the new Gears game will grant you, but be assured, the surprises don't end there. For more news and previews leading up to our review on November 3rd, keep checking back to IGN.com.